hello hello thank you for clicking on this video my name is d and i'll be taking you through on how to make this pineapple cover-up dress it's a bikini cover-up dress that i'm sure most of you might have seen on social media so i decided to give it a try and make a tutorial for it so i hope you guys will like it so to get started we are going to start this dress the same exact way for all sizes and then we shall be increasing along the way so you're going to make a chain from your one collarbone to the other then we work our way towards the bob part and then we shall increase and work our way down as i will be taking you through on how to do that okay so yeah if you have any questions feel free to ask me uh, the back of this dress is open as you can see but if you want yours to be closed i have this other tutorial that i made a while back and i will leave the link in the description box below you can also make it long to your preference but i decided to make mine shorter so here are the materials you're going to need you're going to need a tap measure you will need a five millimeter hook you're going to need a darning needle and some scissors to cut the strands of your work i used winter king yarn and this is the this is what is left of my third ball of yarn so you only need two and a half skins and you're good to go this is made for a size small to medium okay so let's get into the video we're going to start with a slip knot and make a chain of 25 so it's going to be a multiple of 5 plus 3 so chain 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and plus the 3. 1, 2, 3. Once you're done with that, you're going to turn your chain. I want to work in these back loops, those right there. So you're going to turn your chain and make a single crochet into the second chain from the hook. So yarn over and place a single crochet into the next stitch. That's the second stitch. Make a single crochet into the next. And you're going to keep making single crochets all the way to the end. And at the end of this row, you should be having 27 stitches so I'm done with my first row of single crochet so for row 2 you're going to chain 6 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 turn your work and you're going to yarn over and skip skip three chains skip three stitches you're going to ignore this one because this chain is coming out of this first stitch here so you're going to count from the second stitch which is this one one two three and into the fourth you're going to make a shell a shell is two double crochets chain two two double crochets in the same space And that's how your work should look chain 5 that's 3 4 5 yarn over skip 1 2 3 4 5 and into the next stitch you're going to make one double crochet chain 5 2 3 4 5 yarn over skip 1 2 3 4 5 and into the next which is the sixth stitch you're going to place there a double crochet as well you should have that 
chain one, two, three, four, five, and skip one, two, three, four, five, and into the next stitch, you're going to make a shell. That's two, chain two, yarn over, make two more double crochets all in the same stitch. So once you get to the end here, you're going to chain up three, one, two, three, yarn over, skip one, two, three, and into the fourth stitch, you're going to make a double crochet to end the row. And your work should be looking like this. So the chain six we started with here is going to work as a double crochet. The first three is going to be the double crochet. And then the three chains we have in the middle is going to work as the chain three space. Okay, so I hope that's clear. So now we're off to our next row. You're going to chain six. That's three, four, five, six. The first three is the double crochet. This, the next three is the chain three space that we need here. Okay, so you're going to yarn over and make a double crochet, make a shell into the chain two space. Chain two, sorry, back in that same space, you're going to make two more double crochets. Chain five, one, two, three, four, and five, yarn over, and you're going to skip this space here, and you're going to make 10 double crochet in this space between the two double crochets that we have. So simply yarn over and make 10 double crochets into this space. That's two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. So we have our ten double crochets in the same space here. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five. Yarn over and make a shell in the next chain two space. Chain two, back in the same space, make a shell. Chain one, two, three, yarn over and skip one, two, three chains and into the fourth, you're going to place there one double crochet to end the row. So this is what you should be having. Off to row three. Let's ignore the first row of single crochet. So I'm counting this as our row three. So you're going to chain six. Every time you're starting a row, you chain six. This is two here, three, four, five, six. Turn your work, yarn over and make a shell into the chain two space. Chain up five, one, one, two, three, four, five, yarn over, and you're going to make a double crochet on top of the first double crochet. So yarn over, make a double crochet into 
the next stitch chain one yarn over make a double crochet on top of the next double crochet chain one yarn over make a double crochet on top of the next double crochet and repeat this until you've placed a double crochet on top of each double crochet we had from our previous row and at the end of this of these double crochets here you should be having 10 of them 10 double crochets remember each double crochet gets a chain in between Here's the last one. You can cross check and make sure that you have 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. All right, chain five. Yarn over, make a shell in the chain two space. Chain three, skip three, count, you need to count one, two, three, and into the fourth, you're going to place there a double crochet, like that, and that will mark the end of row three. Row four, chain six, turn your work. Yarn over, make a shell in the chain two space. Chain two, two more double crochets into the same space. Chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Yarn over. So once you get to these 10 double crochets that we have here, you're going to skip this first double crochet so basically you're going to work in the chain one space that we created previously so skip the first double crochet and make a double crochet in the chain one space like that chain one yarn over skip the next double crochet and make a double crochet in the chain one space chain one skip the double crochet and make a double crochet in the chain one space and repeat until you get to the end of these double crochets that we have here just remember to chain one in between Like that and at the end of this you should be having one two three four five six seven eight nine stitches we had ten previously now we have nine and as we go you will see that you are reducing you're taking off one stitch whenever we get to this point here which is the pineapple pattern that we are creating so once you're done here, you're going to chain five, yarn over, make a shell in the chain two space. Chain three, yarn over, skip one, two, three, and into the fourth. See, one, two, three. Yeah. This is my fourth stitch that I think I made it a little too tight. Right here. And that will 
marks the end of the row and your work should be looking like this chain six one two three four five six turn your work yarn over make a shell in the chain two space chain two two more double crochets in the same space okay so here previously as you can see we chained five so this time we're going to chain up six when we get to this point here because since we are reducing here it means that we are, we need to add on more chains so that we can get to the chain two space chain one space rather so chain six two three four five and six yarn over skip this double crochet and make a double crochet into the chain one space chain one a double crochet in the chain one space chain one a double crochet in the chain one space and repeat your work should be looking like that so at the end of this row you should be having one two three four five six seven eight stitches so here we had ten remember then now we have nine now we have eight so the next row it's going to be seven when you get to the pineapple then six then five it will be reducing in that way Chain six, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yarn over. Make a shell in the chain two space. Chain three. Yarn over. And you're going to count one, two, three, and make your last double crochet into the fourth chain. So we're off to row six. One, two, three, four, five. Row six now. Chain six. That's two, three, four, five, six. Turn your work. Yarn over. Make a shell in the chain two space. Make a shell, chain six, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Yarn over, skip this double crochet and make a double crochet into the next chain one skip the double crochet make a double crochet into the chain one space and repeat until you get to the end of the pineapple there you have it at the end of this we have one two three four five six seven double crochets Chain up six, one, two, three, four, five, six, yarn over, make a shell in the chain two space, chain two, back in the same space, make two double crochets, chain three, count one, two, three, and into the fourth make a double crochet to end the row at the end of our row six we're going to do something different here so please pay attention so to start row seven you're going to chain up one two three four 
five and six. Turn your work, yarn over. This still counts as a double crochet and a chain three in between. So yarn over and into this same space. Let me zoom in. Into this same space the chain is coming out of, you're going to make a shell. So insert your hook and make two double crochets. Chain two, two double crochets into this same space. That's what you should have. And then you're going to chain four. Remember here we've been chaining three. This time we're chaining four. So that's one, two, three, four. Yarn over, make a shell in the chain two space. And when we get to this point where we have been chaining six, this time we're going to chain up eight. So chain one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then yarn over and make a double crochet in the chain one space. Just like how we have been doing it. Chain one, make a double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one double crochet and at the end here you should be having one two three four five six stitches six double crochets and then chain eight yarn over make a shell in the chain two space that then you're going to chain up four that's two three four all right chain four skip one two three chains and into the fourth chain you're going to make a shell That's what you should have. And then chain three, yarn over, back in that same space, make your last double crochet. So what we have here now is the same exact thing we have here. Because we, remember we started with the six chains, which counts as a double crochet and the chain three. And as you can see, it's all in the same space. So it's the same thing we have here. What we're doing now is increasing that part. Um, this is the part that goes around your boob area. Yeah. So we're going to, this is how we're going to increase whenever you want to do this. You just increase in that way. Okay, so I think that's row eight. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, we're off to row eight. So here you're going to chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Turn your work, yarn over, and you're going to go direct in the chain two space and make a shell. Chain two. Two more DCs in the same space. Chain four, one, two, three, four. Yarn over, make a shell in the chain two space.
and this time when we get to this point where we have been chaining six you're going to chain eight okay so chain eight one two three four five six we made this a little bit loose these are three four five six seven eight so chain eight and make a double crochet in the chain one space chain one double crochet in the chain one space chain one double crochet in the chain one space chain one double crochet in the chain one space chain one double crochet into the chain one space and at the end of this you should be having one two three four five stitches five double crochets chain eight one two three four five six seven eight yarn over make a shell in the chain two space chain up two back in the same space make two double crochets then here you're going to chain four one two three four yarn over and make a shell in the chain two space then you're going to chain up three one two three yarn over and skip three one two three and into the fourth that's where you're going to place your last double crochet to end the row and your work should be looking like this that's how your work should look now we have one two three four five six seven eight rows row nine we're going to repeat that same thing so you're going to chain six just like how we've been doing when starting a new row one two three four five six turn your work yarn over and make a shell in the chain to space chain four make a shell in the chain two space and then here you're going to chain eight one two three four five six seven eight and make a double crochet in the chain one space chain one double crochet in the chain one space chain one double crochet in the chain one space chain one double crochet in the chain one space and at the end of that you should be having only four double crochets here with the chain one space chain eight that's one two three four five six seven eight yarn over make a shell in the chain to space chain up four make a shell in the chain to space chain three skip one two three and into the fourth make a double crochet and your work should look like that so we're going to repeat that row we just completed for our next row chain six 
on your work make a shell in the chain to space then chain four make a shell And then you're going to chain eight. Yarn over, make a double crochet in the chain one space. Chain one, double crochet in the chain one space. Chain one, double crochet in the chain one space. Then chain eight. Make a shell in the chain to space. Chain four. Make a shell in the chain to space. Then chain three and end the row with a double crochet in the fourth chain. One, two, three. Double crochet into the fourth. And your work should look like that. So we're going to repeat that row. And then uh, you're going to end with two double crochets here now we have three as you can see we've been decreasing as we sorry about that as you can see we've been decreasing as we go so go ahead and make the next two rows the same exact way don't change anything and I'll meet you back once you're done with the next two rows okay because now this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So make row eleven and twelve, and then I'll be back here shortly. At this point, we should all be at this level of our project. As you can see, I have only one double crochet here to complete my pineapple design that we are creating here in the middle. So on our next row, we're going to be increasing and we're going to be increasing the number of chains that we have here, okay? Except for this, uh, the number of chains we start with here are going to stay the same and the same thing for this side but we're going to be increasing here then here in the middle and on this side as well so chain six one two three four five and six turn your work yarn over make a shell in the chain to space So previously here we would, we would chain four. This time we're going to chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Then yarn over, make a shell in the chain two space. So once you get to the center here, you're going to chain 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Yarn over. And you're going to count from the from the double crochet. You're going to count 1, 2. And into the second stitch, you're going to place there a double crochet. The 
double crochet then chain five one two three four five yarn over count from this double crochet here one two and into that second double crochet you're going to place that a double crochet rather into the second chain from the double crochet you're going to place the double crochet and by doing this we are creating this gap here which is going to be the foundation of our uh, of our next pineapple design okay so that's why we have this here then you're going to chain up 10 yarn over make a shell in the chain to space chain eight make a shell in the chain to space Then chain up three, yarn over, count one, two, three, and into the fourth. Make a double crochet to complete this row. And that's how your work will look at this point. Okay, that was row, row 13, row 14, chain six, Turn your work, make a shell, chain up ten, yarn over and make, oh, I'm sorry, here we're chaining only eight. Chain eight, make a shell. Then chain 10. And now this space we created here, we're going to place that 10 double crochet between these two double crochets so yarn over and make 10 double crochets all in that same space There you go. Let me count again to be sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Ten double crochets in the same space. Chain up ten. Yarn over, make a shell in the chain two space. Chain two. Two more double crochets, chain eight, make a shell in the chain two space, chain three and make a double crochet into the fourth chain to end that row 
and this is what we have now don't mind about this once you put this on it's obviously going to stretch so row 15 now chain six turn your work make a shell in the chain two space Chain eight, make a shell in the chain two space. Chain 10, yarn over and you're going to make a double crochet on, on top of the very first double crochet. Chain 1 double crochet on top of the next double crochet chain one double crochet on top of the next double crochet and keep repeating that until you have 10 double crochets separated with a chain Okay, here you go. Those are 10 double crochets that we just completed here. Then chain 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Double crochet. Rather make a shell in the chain 2 space. And then chain eight. Make a shell in the chain two space. Chain up three and count one, two, three and into the fourth make a double crochet to complete the row we continue chain up six one two three four five six chain six turn your work yarn over and make a shell in the chain two space Chain eight, make a shell in the chain two space. Then here you're going to chain ten. Yarn over, skip one double crochet and make a double crochet in the chain one space. So I'm going to skip this first double crochet. Chain one, yarn over, skip the next double crochet. Chain one, double crochet in the chain one space. So you're going to keep making a double crochet in every chain one space.
double crochet chain one double crochet in the next chain one space chain one double crochet and at the end of this you should have one two three four five six seven eight nine nine double crochets for the pineapple design so it's going to be decreasing it by itself as you go just like what we have on this first um pineapple design that we have so it's the same thing we are repeating here chain 10 and make a shell in the chain two space chain eight make a shell in the chain two space chain up three and count one two three and into the fourth make a double crochet and your work should look like this so from here you're going to keep repeating that same pattern until you have only one double crochet left around the pineapple uh, design or pattern that we are making here so keep repeating until you have that and i'll be back to show you how to continue from there Alright, so from here we're going to start creating our third pineapple. We're going to be doing that as we work on the back part as well. So from here, as you can see, we finished this pineapple. So now we're going to make a long chain and attach it onto this other side. And that's going to work as our back panel. So you're going to chain for size small to medium. You're going to chain 70 and for a size large to extra large uh, you can chain 85 plus 3 okay um, you can also consider increasing on the number of chains that you make because the longer the chains the longer your dress is going to stretch okay since I'm making a size small to medium like you can say where I chained 8, you can consider chaining 10. Where I chained 10, you chain 12, like that. So I hope you have understood that part. So, like I said, for a size small to medium, I'm chaining 70. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I'll go ahead and make a chain of 70 and... I'll be back okay so here I have made my chain of 70 so I had forgotten so you see from this point to this point this measures up to 14 inches without being stretched and when I stretch it it goes up to 18 inches. It goes up to 18 inches. So that means this dress will be able to fit someone with the hip measurement of 28 and 36. Okay? Yes. 
So I have chained 70 here. We are now going to attach this chain to this other point. Okay. So you're going to count from here, from the shell. This is one, two, three, and into the fourth, you're going to slip stitch. Okay, and that's what you should have. Now we're going to work on this side here, and then we shall come and work over the chain and then work in rounds. So from where you have slip stitched from, From the point where you slip stitched from, you're going to chain three, one, two, three, yarn over and make a shell in the chain two space. And then you're going to chain 10 okay from this point we are chaining 10 remember we had been chaining 8 at this point but from here we're going to be chaining up 10 here 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 and as I'll be showing you chain 10 and make a shell in the chain to space So you're going to chain 10 this is where we're supposed to be creating the space for our next pineapple design so you're going to count from the double crochet that you have here in the middle count one two and into the third you're going to place there one double crochet like that chain five for the middle that's five yarn over and skip one two and make a double crochet into the third chain you will have that this is where we're going to uh, start creating our next pineapple like what we have here chain ten one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten Yarn over, make a shell in the chain to space. Chain 10. Chain 10, yarn over, make a shell in the chain to space. That's what we have so now we're going to start working on our chain here so remember here we would chain three and then make a double crochet but this time you're going to chain ten one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten yarn over and then you're going to count three stitches from the double crochet okay like ignore this counting from the double crochet the chain next to the double crochet count one two three and into the fourth into the fourth chain you're going to place there a shell That's how it will look and then you're going to chain 10 and you're going to count eight chains 
one two three four five six seven eight and into the ninth chain you're going to place the a shell so skip eight and make a shell into the ninth chain okay so so far we have added two shells on our chain for the back chain 10 skip 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and into the ninth you're going to make your sh your third shell So we have three shells on our chain for the back part. So the next space that we are going to create here, chain 10, that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Skip eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and into the ninth, you're going to make only one double crochet okay one double crochet then you're going to chain five one two three four five yarn over and skip one two three four five into the the sixth stitch you're going to place that a double crochet and that creates the next space for our shelf for the back part Okay, this is the space for the shell. I'm sorry, this creates the space for our next pineapple design. Okay, you have three sets of shells and then you have created this space for your next pineapple and now you're going to have three more shells on this other side. So chain 10, one, two, three, four, five, six seven eight nine ten skip eight one two three four five six seven eight and into the ninth make a shell chain ten Skip eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Chain 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yarn over and skip 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And into the ninth. Sorry. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I'm going to make a shell. This is what we have. So after you've chained 10 here, you're going to count 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And into the 11th chain, you're going to place there a shell. And 
this is going to be your last shell for the chain part for the back part so you'll have three on this side then you have this middle part for your next pineapple and then you have these last three for the back part so if you made a size large you will you will end up with four shells one two three and then you'll have a fourth one then you have this in the middle and then you will have four more shells on this other side as well so i hope that's clear but if you have any questions feel free to ask me in the comment section below once you get to this point you're going to chain 10 that's three four five six seven eight nine ten yarn over make a shell in the chain to space chain 10 make a shell so before we continue you have to make sure that you have to make sure that your shells are facing down like this and not up not like that but like this because now we're working towards the bottom part of our cover-up so I hope that is clear so make sure your chain is not twisted when you work on it so once you have made your last shell here you're just going to continue there is no slip stitching here Okay, you'll chain 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Then yarn over, go direct into the next chain to space, and make a shell. Chain 10. Make a shell in the next chain to space. Chain 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Yarn over. And now you're going to make 10 double crochets into the chain five space so simply yarn over and make your 10 double crochets There, I have my 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. I have my 10 double crochets. From here, I'm just going to continue with my chain of 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And make a shell in the next chain to space. Chain 10, and just continue with the pattern where there is a shell, you place there a shell in the chain to space. Okay, where we have our double crochets, you already know what to do there. It means we are creating our pineapple design. So chain 10, make a shell. So as you can see, now we are, ch 
chaining 10 and we are chaining 2 to make the shell now I'm working on the back side so basically we're working in rounds now Okay, here we are. You're going to chain 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Yarn over. Make 10 double crochets in the chain 5 space. So, this is your second pineapple for the back part. So, make 10 double crochets in that space. There we have our 10. Cross check to make sure that you have 10 double crochets. Chain 10. Make a shell in the chain to space. Chain 10, make a shell in the chain to space. Chain 10. So when you get to the middle here, you're still going to chain 10 yarn over place a double crochet on top of the next double crochet chain one double crochet on top of the next double crochet chain one double crochet on top of the next double crochet chain one and repeat that until you have 10 double crochets here separated with a chain one So by now, I'm sure you know the pattern, guys. So this is how our work is looking. This is the wrong side. And for this bottom part, this is the right side. This right here. So you're just going to keep following that pattern. Work your way around and I'll meet you here. For our pineapple okay keep chaining 10 shell chain 10 shell chain 10 shell chain 10 shell chain 10 
and I will meet you here shortly. After your chain of 10, you're going to yarn over and make a double crochet on top of the next double crochet. Chain one, double crochet on top of the next double crochet, just like how we have been doing when creating our pineapple design here. So keep repeating that until you have 10 double crochets at the end of it with the chain one between between the double crochets. Okay, once you have that one last double crochet you made, you're going to chain 10 and make a shell in the chain 2 space. So it's really easy. You just have to repeat the pattern. Where there is a shell, you place there a shell. Where there is a chain, you place there a chain. It's that simple because from here we're not changing anything. So yeah, just keep repeating. I'm going to keep repeating that same pattern, guys. Um, I'm going to complete this pineapple and then I'll start the second one and complete it. But you can make yours longer if, re if you prefer yours to be like that. So I'll go ahead and complete main and I'll be back to show you guys how to finish off and all that stuff. So guys, I went ahead and completed my dress. As you can see here, I completed the two pineapple uh, patterns that were remaining and that's what I have. So this is part is going to be the back and this is the front. So you can make this longer if you prefer yours to be long. Um, I'm going to stop at this point for mine and these are I made 48 rows in total so I also made the mistake of not turning my work but it's still okay if you can figure out on how to make it as you turn your work that is perfect so here I'm going to end my row with a slip stitch after making this last double crochet so you're simply going in the chain two space and making a slip stitch chain one and cut the yarn i will weave this in later and that's it so next we're going to attach two we're going to attach chains here on this side and this and then we're going to add another chain around the boob part somewhere here and this will help us to tie at the back of our dress so get your yarn and I'll attach it on the very first chain that you have. I'm going back into that same space because I don't like how, I don't want to have that gap, okay? So, you're going to make a long chain to go around your back, rather your neck, So make a long chain. I'm going to chain 100 
and I'll do the same on this side and then I'll do I will attach my yarn on this side as well and make a chain I went ahead and attached my chains for to tie around the neck and I also added this one chain on this side and I want to show you how to attach yours on on this other side so what I did here was count from where the one double crochet ends here that is the row that I made my chain okay so it's this one here So get your yarn and make a knot, attach it and make a chain of 120, so chain 120, that should be long enough to tie around your waist or you can add more if you feel like it's too short for you. So yeah, that's it. Continue chaining until you have 120 and you're done with your project. Another tip is if you want, you can go around this part and make single crochet in each, in each chain, but that, that is optional. I'm also not doing it, but if you want to do it, you can go ahead and do it. It will help tighten that space. Yeah, other than that, guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't done so yet. Comment below if you have any questions. I'll be happy to reply you. You can also follow me on my Instagram page at creations one and yeah let's stay connected so yeah that's it guys thanks for watching bye bye Bye. Don't forget to weave in your ends.